Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the beautiful precipitation of cobalt hydroxide. Check this out. So all I'm using in this double displacement precipitation reaction is cobalt chloride, sodium hydroxide, one graduated cylinder with 80 milliliters of distilled water, and another graduated cylinder with 300 milliliters of distilled water, a spoon, a petri dish, and a dropper. Begin by making an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide by adding six grams of sodium hydroxide to 300 milliliters of distilled water. Next, create an aqueous solution of four grams of cobalt chloride in 80 milliliters of distilled water. Okay, now check out the amazing blue precipitation of cobalt hydroxide as I add sodium hydroxide, which you can see is clear, to my cobalt chloride solution. It's gonna change really dramatically. Here we go. Look at that. Whoa, just amazing. Look at that beautiful blue cobalt hydroxide, that insoluble precipitant, check it out. Just amazing. Wow. Okay, I wanted to see a micro scale of this in a petri dish, so I'm gonna do the same thing, only really close so you can see it just in a petri dish. Here we go. Look at that. Another drop. Just instant precipitation of cobalt hydroxide. Beautiful blue. Just awesome. <laughs> Here's a few more drops in a graduated cylinder. So what's going on in this awesome double displacement precipitation reaction is you start with a solution of cobalt chloride and you add that to a solution of sodium hydroxide. And what happens is since sodium is higher on the reactivity scale, those ions trade places with each other and your cobalt chloride becomes that blue insoluble cobalt hydroxide that we saw precipitate out of the solution. And the sodium hydroxide becomes sodium chloride. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.